Now let's work through some electrostatics homework. The first set we're going to do is simply using Coulomb's law that the force of attraction or repulsion between any two charges is equal to K, Q1, Q2, divided by the distance between those particles squared. Now K is Coulomb's constant, and it's 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. So let's look at this problem. What is the force on a positive charge um, of 5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs that is 0.5, me 0 0.05 meters away from another positive charge? First, let's draw the charges. We have positive charge 1, positive charge 2, and they're 0.5 meters away, so this is D away. Now they're both positive, so we know this charge is going to push this charge this direction. So this will be the direction of the force of 2 on 1. And the first charge is going to push the second charge that way, force of 1 on 2. We know from Newton's third law that the magnitude of 2 on 1 has to equal the magnitude of 1 on 2. These forces are the same. They're in opposite directions, so they are repulsive. Now let's find the force, magnitude of the force itself. So what are my givens? Q1 is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Oh, excuse me, coulombs. Goodness, must be early. The second charge is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, and the distance apart is 0 0.05 meters. These are all in coulombs, this is in meters, so it's pretty straightforward to find the force. F is equal to what? My unknown, here is my givens. Here's my unknown. My equation is F is K Q1, Q2, divided by R squared. Solve solution. I'm just going to plug my numbers in. 9 times 10 to the 9th times the first one is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 times 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 0 0.05 squared. Now put this in your calculator by multiplying 9 times 10 to the 9th times 5 times 10 to the negative 6 times 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6 divide it by 0.05 squared and you get 81 newtons. Now I'm going to be honest they're not usually that nice looking. Let's try the next one. What is the force on a negative of a negative charge? So Q1 is negative 3.4 times 10 to the negative 6 and a positive charge. Q2 is 4 times 10 to the negative 6 that are 0 0.03 meters away so D is 0 0.03 meters. Now in this case the signs are different so it's going to be attractive. So if I have Q1 here and Q2 here uh, Q2 is positive, Q1 is negative, because 1 is positive, 1 is negative, the force of 2 on 1 is going to be toward Q2, and the force of 1 on 2 is going to be toward Q1. So these are attractive. For these problems, don't worry about the negative sign. Don't give me a negative force, because that doesn't mean anything. This is like the free body diagram. So, my unknown, I'm looking for my force. My equation, S is K, Q1, Q2, divided by the distance squared. Solve solution, S is 9 times 10 to the 9th, 3.4 times 10 to the negative 6. You see I didn't put the negative sign in there. 4 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 
uh, my distance is 0 0.03, and that has to be squared. Now, to do this, multiply 9 times 10 to the 9 times 3.4 times 10 to the negative 6 times 4 times 10 to the negative 6, and then divide by 0 0.03 and square the 0 0.03. So you get an answer, very nice answer, of 136 newtons. Now, what is the distance between two negative charges? So Q1 is negative 7.4 times 10 to the negative 9th coulombs. And Q2 is negative 5.3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And the force is 0.32 newtons. OK, this time. Our unknown is we're looking for D. How far apart are they? So my equation, F is K, Q1, Q2, divided by D squared. Now, I need to solve this for D squared. <coughs> or rather, for D. So I'm going to get rid of my D. This is the solve part. OK. So I'm going to multiply 3 by D squared. So I have F d squared is k, q1, q2. I'm still looking for d, so I'm going to divide both sides through by f. So d squared is k, q1, q2, divided by f. Those are going to cancel there. But I really want d, so I just want the square root of this. All right. so. D is the square root of K, Q1, Q2, divided by F. Let's plug our numbers in. So this is going to be the square root of 9 times 10 to the 9th. Now, don't, don't try putting the negatives in, because you're going to wind up with a negative under the radical if one of these is positive. Remember, we're just looking for the magnitude at this point in time. 7.4 times 10 to the negative 9 times 5.3 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by the force of 0.32. Now, I strongly recommend you go on and multiply this out. 9 times 10 to the 9 times 7.4 times 10 to the negative 9 times 5.3 times 10 to the negative 6. And I get this is the square root of 3.5298 times 10 to the negative 4. And we're going to divide that by 0.32. You have to do all of this before you take the square root. When I divide 3.5298, by 0.32, I get the square root of 0 0.0011003. I mean, it goes on. So when I take the square root, 0 0.001103, I get 0 0.033. And you want the meters there. Um, what, what do you do if you wind up with a negative sign under the radical here? Make sure you go back and make sure that you haven't put in a negative sign where you shouldn't. Now, what is the unknown charge? So we're looking for a Q. If there is a force of 1 times 10 to the negative third Newton, so this is my force on two charges that are 0.404 meters apart. The other charge is 2.5 times 10 to the negative coulombs. All right, so I have the force. D is 0 0.0004 meters. Let's just say Q1 is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 15 coulombs. All right, so this time we're looking for Q2. Hmm. All right, my equation 
is F is K, Q1, Q2, divided by D squared. So I want to solve this for Q2. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of D squared. So switch my pin color back. F D squared is K Q1 Q2. Now I'm still looking for Q2. So I need to divide both sides through by KQ1. So I wind up with, I'll we'll bring this back up here, the Q that I'm looking for is F D squared divided by K Q1. Now I can plug my numbers in. The force is 1 times 10 to negative 3. D squared, it's 0 0.0004, and I'm going to square that. This is divided by K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th. And Q1 is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 15. Now you need to multiply your numerator straight across. So it's going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 3 times 0 0.00. 0, 4, and you want to put a square on that. So you're going to get a numerator of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10. And then you need to, need to divide this by your denominator, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th times 2.5 times 10 to the negative 15. So this is 2.25 times 10 to the negative 5th. Now, now you can do your division um, of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10 divided by 2.25 times 10 to the negative 5. You get 7.11 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Be very careful when you're doing this. Your calculator is stupid. It doesn't understand what you mean unless you enter it in the way the calculator wants you to enter it. So if you go on and just multiply your numerators across, or your denominators across, and then do your division, you'll be in good shape every time. Now if I have two charges that are separated by a distance d and exerting a force f, what will the new force be if q1 is doubled? Hmm. f is k q1 q2 divided by d squared. Now if the first charge is doubled, well, let me back that up. I wanted to change colors. If the first charge gets doubled, you see I'm going to wind up with twice the force. Now, what if D is tripled? Hmm, D. So this is going to be F is K Q1 Q2 divided by D squared. Now, if I triple D, all right, I'm going to wind up with 1 over 3 squared, or 1 ninth, my original force. Now these are fun when we start doing bunches of stuff with them. All right, S is K, Q1, Q2, divided by D squared. Now for this one, we're going to double, we're going to triple Q1, and double D so we wind up with 3 divided by 4, get that 2 is squared, the original force. All right, I have a negative charge of, ne of 2 times 2 to the negative 4th coulomb, so that's going to be Q1. And a positive charge of 8 times 10 to the negative 4 coulombs are separated by a distance d is 0.3 meters. Um, what's the force? Let's see, since one is positive and one is negative, we know it's got to be attractive because opposites attract. We're looking for the force. And we know the force is k q1 q2 divided by r squared. So this is k, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th. 
Q1 is 2 times 10 to the negative 4. You notice I did put the negative sign in there. 8 times 10 to the negative 4 coulombs divided by my distance of 0.3 meters squared. And when you plug this in, you get 1600 newtons. Now, I have a negative charge of negative 6 times 10 to the negative uh, 6 coulombs has an attractive force of 65 newtons on a second charge that is 0.05 meters away. What's the magnitude of the second charge? First of all, I can tell you it's got to be positive because I've got a negative charge attracting. So I know it's going to be positive. I asked for the magnitude, but that's just going to be a positive number anyway. All right, so I have Q1 is negative 6 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. F is 65 newtons. And D is 0 0.050 meters. So I'm looking for Q2. So F is K, Q1, Q2, divided by D squared. I need to solve this for Q2. So I'm going to get rid of my fractions. So I'm going to multiply through by D squared. So F, D squared, is K, Q1, Q2. Now I need to get Q2 by itself. So I'm going to divide by KQ1, both sides. So I get Q2 is equal to F, D squared, divided by K, Q1. Now let's plug our numbers in. F is 65 newtons. D is 0 0.05 squared divided by K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th. And Q1 is 6 times 10 to the negative 6. Now multiply this straight across. So you have 65 times 0 0.05 squared is 0.1625. And divide that by 9 times 10 to the 9th times 6 times 10 to the negative 6. And that gives you 5, 4, 1, 2, 3 zeros. And now you divide 0 0.6125 by 54,000 to get 3 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Now, I have a force of negative 4.4 times 10 to the negative 3 newtons between a positive charge and a negative charge. What distance separates them? So I have F is negative 4 times, oh, let me erase that. All right, negative 4.4 times 10 to the third newtons. And Q1 is 8 times 10 to the negative 4 coulombs. And I charge Q2 of negative 3 times 10 to the negative 4th coulombs. And we're looking for R, uh, the distance. What distance are we looking for? We know F is K, Q1, Q2, divided by D squared. Now we're looking for the d, so we need to solve. So I've got to get rid of my d squared, so I'm going to multiply through. Don't like things in my denominator. So f d squared is k q1 q2. I still want d squared by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides through by f. So d squared is k q1 q2 divided by f. To get D by itself, I need to square root both sides. So D is the square root of K, Q1, Q2, divided by F. Do all of this under here before you do your square root. So this is the square root of 9 times 10 to the 9. Q1, I'm just putting the positives in here. 4.4 times 10 to the 3rd. 
3 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by the force of, did I do that right? Oh goodness gracious folks, y'all have to catch me. I'm making mistakes this morning. It's about six o'clock. First cup of coffee, what can I say? Start over. K is nine times 10 to the ninth. Q1 is eight times 10 to the negative fourth. Q2 is 3 times 10 to the negative fourth. And I'm going to divide that by F, which is 4.4 times 10 to the third. And you get a distance of 0 0.070 meters.